actually I've been thinking about this for a while and I don't know I just because it's very hard to talk about I just don't know what to do about that hello friends what's up it's Seb and welcome to my channel again if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button the notifications button and comment down below I'm a cool avocado and I'll give you a shout out just like these beautiful people <laughs> anyway so for today's video I was like you know what I haven't done a video just me and you guys sitting down aing some of your cues answering some of your questions uh, you know so I went on my Instagram go follow me on Instagram bitches and I asked you guys to send me some questions and you guys sent me some really crazy ones anyways also please excuse my face my whole aura situation going on right now I am extremely sick well I was extremely sick like a week ago I'm finally feeling like a little bit good so I was like bitch I can film now let's film what Okay, so I've got my little buddy. Okay, he doesn't want to give me in a video. Okay, bitch. Oh, also, did you guys notice my new wig? <laughs> I dyed my hair and I kind of messed it up. I didn't film it this time because last time I filmed myself dyeing my hair, I kind of drugged myself, lost some hair, had a mental breakdown, almost died. It was just a lot. You know, if you want to go check that video out, go check it out. But anyways, I dyed my hair. <laughs> kind of messed it up. It's kind of orange in some parts but you know what that's just life you know life comes at you sometimes and it's like wow pow you know anyways yeah let's just get into the video you know let's get into the q a with sabarka okay first question have you ever had a friend come out to you before anyone else i have i have had I have had, I have, I love the girl. I have had friends come out to me in the past, and honestly, I've always been like, yes, my gay babies come to me, come to mama. But honestly, yeah, like, I don't think as that many friends have come out to me. I don't know, I don't remember. Like, I've had really close friends come out to me, and I'm always like, yes, bitch. I always tell them, like, be yourself. You're perfect. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're the best thing ever. However, I've also had boys come out to me, you know, like, trying to get in my pants, like, oh, well, I'm not gay, but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, questioning myself, and, like, if you want to do anything, just let me know, and I'm like, girl, I've never talked to you, you've never talked to me until now, why would I want to do dirty things with you just because you're questioning yourself? I don't know. All I know is that if, if a stranger is gonna come out to you, make sure that the stranger is not just coming out to you because they want things, sexual things from you, you know? Like, I just, I, I, I'm Confucian. I am Confucian, America. Also, can we talk about this little moment that I bought it at a thrift store? I was like, maybe I can make it cute. I don't know if I can make it cute. I might be too gay for this. It's a basketball jersey. Anyways, next question. Are you a virgin? And I, and I, and I, and I, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Virgo. I am a Virgo because I was born in September 20th. <laughs> I am also a professional athlete and mathlete and I graduated with honors in psychology. So yeah. Next question. How did you meet Dion? Is it on social media? I'm just so dead curious. If for any of you guys that don't know how I met my fiance, it is on social media. I feel like we've talked about this in a lot of videos before. However, I'll just do a little fast and furious story time right now. So I met him because I went to VidCon 2016 or 15, 16 I think. And a month before going to VidCon, I was just watching videos on YouTube and I stumbled on, upon one of Dion's videos. And I was like, at the moment, I didn't really think much of it. I was just like, oh, that guy is cute. I didn't even look at his channel's name. I didn't I didn't do anything. I was just like, oh, that guy is cute. And then I go to VidCon and I see him at a party. And I was like, oh my God, that's the guy that I thought was cute. I'm going to ask him to take a photo with me. 
So I go up to him and I'm like, hey, can I take a picture with you? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I love your videos. Even though I like only knew one of them, but like still. And he's like, yeah. And then like, that's how we met. We took a photo together. And then like, we just kept bumping into each other that weekend. And we just started talking more and more and more. And yeah, that's how we met. What are your thoughts on open relationships? Honestly, I'm all for an open relationship. Like, I feel like open relationships are just great when you're like, just want to be going around the buffet, you know, trying everything out. You're just, you're not settling down for just one plate yet. So yeah, I feel like if that's what you were looking for, go for it. Like, it's a thing for a reason, you know? The next question is, what was your first kiss like? My first kiss, hmm, it wasn't bad. I don't think so. I was in summer camp. I <laughs> Summer camp, 2K16, uh, no, not 2K16. It was like summer camp. I was on, it was a summer between 6th and 7th grade, I think. And it was with a girl. And it was, I think, I feel like it was spin the bottle or something. But that, that was just like a kid's like a peck. Like, it was great, amazing, everything I've ever dreamed of. But honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't everything I dreamed of. And like the thing is with first kisses and first times and things like that, I feel like you kind of have to grab all your expectations, put them in a nice little bag and throw it at the trash, bitch. Cause first times are just gonna break all of your expectations and you're not gonna know what you're getting. I don't know. Any anyway, next question. How many human kids do you want? Human kids. Oh. <laughs> no, I do want kids. I don't know how many kids. Guys, I, I used to say I wanted four kids. But now that I've grown a little, I've realized that living is expensive. There it is! Everything costs money. Breathing costs money. So, like, I really don't want to have that many kids if I'm not, if I don't know that I will be able to give them all a great life. Next question is, what is your pet peeve? I honestly have so many pet peeves. One of them is people that eat eggs after 12, like after 1 p.m. if you're eating eggs. Oh, I just want to puke. Oh, I can't. Like, I love breakfast foods, but eggs after noon? No, that's a no-no. People that just won't shut up and have like a lot of opinions on everything and always want to be like arguing and things like that, I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Up. Also, another big pet peeve of mine is privileged people that don't know, that don't, that are not educated and like just are ruining this world, you know, like all those, I don't know. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, talking about pet peeves gives me a pet peeve. Next question, what's the weirdest smell you've ever, you've ever smelled? I'm, I don't know about weirdest smell, but the worst smell I've ever smelled. Dion and I used to have this really bad friend. I'm not gonna even mention his name or anything, but we used to have this friend that would always come to our house and take his shoes off. And bitch, the smell, the smell those feet would bring. Oh my God, I literally, my eyes would burn. It was so bad. And I kept telling this person, why are you not wearing socks when you wear shoes? That's why your feet smell so bad. And this person would be like, oh, I don't know. I just forget to wear shoes, socks. And I'm like, it would just smell so bad. Oh my God. Like my, I, I, I'm, I have a really strong sense of smell and it was just so bad. Next question is, will you show your future kids your videos? I feel like I would. I will show my future kids my videos. Maybe not the pranks because I don't want my kids to prank me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like a lot of them are very cute and show like all of Dion's and I's story of how, how we met and our relationship and everything that has happened in between. So I think that's a very cute like diary that we have made of our lives. So yeah, I'm excited to show like my kids and grandkids and like my videos. Next question. Did you ever think about breaking up with Dion? This is actually a, a question that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Cause it's very hard to talk about. Actually, I've been thinking about this for a while and I don't know. I just, I just don't know what to do. Just kidding. <laughs> no, like I, like the other half I've had, like have had our arguments and like issues in the past, but I've never really thought about breaking up with him because I, 
I just love him. <laughs> So like, I feel like it's good, like all of our fights and everything, we've talked through the, all of it and I feel like that's what's good about our relationship is that there's a lot of communication and we always want to talk about everything and like fix things. Cause like, we just don't want to throw the whole relationship away over one small argument, you know? So that's something I recommend to all of you guys in relationships right now. If you want the relationship to work, it can work. Like, I feel like a lot of people nowadays are just like, they come into one bump in a relationship and they're like, oh, we're breaking up. We're breaking up forever and it's like no like just like fix things like talk things out like everything can be fixed and talked through you know what I'm saying am I like writing a book right now bitch also I kind of love this raspy voice that I have I want to get sick more often and last question would you ever run over Dion for 10 million dollars I'm sorry, Diongo, but I would. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I feel like Dion would be like, run me over. I would run him, I would run over his foot or something. Like something like not vital. So that way we can pay for uh, surgery for his foot or anything that I run over. And then we would keep, keep the money and buy a house or something. So yeah, does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so that was all the questions I'm going to answer today. If you guys like this little Q&A and would like more videos like this, comment them below. Because I know I haven't done them in a while, but I don't know. Also, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe. Anyways, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you later. My voice is back, bitch. Oh, it's back, baby.